Welcome guys, uh, so I'm playing a bit more standard today, uh, I've just thrown together a new deck. It's just um, blue-green ramp, so we've got things like the world spell at the top end, Titan of Industry, Holebreaker Horror, that sort of thing. And we've got a bunch of ramp spells, I'm just going to see if it works really. Uh, we don't have very much in the way of defences, so I've got a couple of fading hopes. I can gain a bit of life off of Susan's many journeys. That can gain me three life. Glorious Sunrise can gain me life as well. Uh, so it's uh, it feels like a very very risky deck, but we'll I'll see if it uh, it can get any wins at all. Um, it was inspired by uh, I saw I did see a video with this kind of deck. Uh, I think I think it just went for four World Spell, four Titan, and four Hullbreaker Horror with uh, obviously ramp spells and uh, it, it seemed to do okay so that was a few months ago that was uh, the chap who's also known as uh, Saffron Olive I think it was uh, an against the odds video so finally I've got four world spells so I thought this is a good chance to actually try it out for myself not, not exactly the same but uh, same kind of idea and we're playing. We're going into standard play. We're not going to risk uh, risk any rank <laughs> with with this uh, concoction. I'm not sure how this. Uh, I'm not sure this would do too well in on the ladder. Not that standard play is that much different, but we'll see how many games it takes before we can actually play against a not something that isn't mono red. I think we just lose to mono red. Okay, we have an Asusa's Many Journeys. That's nice. One thing we don't have is a way of digging lands out of the deck and putting them in my hand. Um, which goes quite well with the Sousa. Um I've just got got things like the Topiary Stomp to put land directly into play. So we're just hoping the 27 land in the deck is enough to uh, make the most of the Sousa. Or a Zusa. Oh well, maybe we get a free win. Anyway, so I think turn to Azusa, play a Cascade, hope I top deck a land at some point, so I can play land number four on turn three. Uh, then play, I could either play a Lone Speaker or I could do a two point Awaken the Woods. So just sort of go for it. Okay, it's white. Uh, and that's good. That's that's another land. That's a, the tap land we want on turn one. So I guess soldiers. So well, we could lose quite quickly against soldiers if they've got lots of uh, pump spells. Pump creatures.
So I think I think we could go Lone Speaker here. Got the two lands, so we can still make the most of Azusa next turn. And then we might get we might top deck another two drop that we could play. Uh, Siege Veteran is one of the good ones. This this pumps up something by two. By what? Uh, I mean, plus one, plus one each turn. He's right. Gonna pump that to two, two. So. So at least we can block one of them. Slow him down a little bit. Okay, we have four mana available. We can't do the Glorious Sunrise just yet. We could do a two-point Awaken the Woods. What would that do, actually? Four, five, six, seven. We'd have seven mana next turn. I want to do the Asusa because this gains me three life next turn. And that seems good. And we could do a one point awake in the woods. Uh, doesn't seem great, but it puts us on six mana. And then we can Glorious Sunrise. We can Glorious Sunrise next turn anyway. Let's let's go for a big awake in the woods next turn. Uh, we've got to play. Remember to play this pre-combat and uh, gain three life. Morale. That's that's. Uh, Bad news. Okay. We'll take five. So, Altawara could be quite a good answer. But we're building up to Portal to Phyrexia. We're not going to... We want the extra land, I think. And we can make three green. So we could make, do a one-point Awaken the Woods. We could do a four-point Awaken the Woods. as well. Four point awake in the woods. Yeah, that seems good. And then, you know, he might have pump spells. He might be able to get lethal. And then we can always chomp block with these guys. This is obviously going to give him a huge army. Yeah. So he's, he's portal to Phyrexia proof, really. So let's read one with the multiverse. Okay. Seems reasonable. Um, so you got three mana as as well. I think just slowing him down a bit, making sac making him sacrifice three creatures seems reasonable.
Yeah, that is sorcery speed. But I think he's got me uh, here. I think Myrel is a pretty good card. We can tap. Yeah, especially with this guy. Draws two cards. No creatures in the graveyard as well. Another Siege Veteran. But you've got 11 life to play with here. We'll see how aggressive he wants to go with his attack. So, yeah, it's 7 toughness. So, unfortunately, 5, 6. We cannot kill my Myrel. Uh, I think we want to preserve our life turtle here, so I will just chump block. That seems reasonable. Cool, it's a titan of industry. Do we want to play that off the top for zero? I think so. Gain five life, I think. And make a four four. There isn't anything I can blow up. Well, I could blow up a blow up something small. Okay, I think we start casting things off the top here. Guess we already had a land off the top, is that right? No, I already... I played that land, that was very foolish. Uh... Could gain three life. Could draw a card. I'm going to play a little fast and loose. I'm going to draw a card. And then potentially I can play something else. He's going to draw a lot of cards now. Absolutely insane number of cards. Three cards there. Yeah, four more cards I make it. So he could get multiple things that just pump his entire team. Cathar, yeah, thanks. I thought that might be on the way. That takes out my flying blocker. Yeah, just attack with everything seems reasonable. Get okay, 22 soldiers. I like that. <laughs> um. Probably a good game here. There's no way we can get away with... Let's see. Let's actually trade off with that Siege Veteran. Uh, let's take 
out that 2-2. Two -two. Um, let's jump here. Let's jump here. Uh, we're, we're facing 24 damage there, aren't we? Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, we'll just try and stop the most damage we can and just see how how close we were. That one's going to survive. Okay. Uh, I do remember the um, the sweeper that Saffron Olive was u using. It was the four mana blue card that bounces everything back to the hand, apart from I think one permanent on e on each side. I think the controller gets to choose the controller of the permanent. So but I've not invested in that. So yeah. Soldiers definitely can get out of control. If you don't have any removal cards you can't get rid of the Myrel. The Siege Veteran. Uh yeah, things are pretty dicey. Yeah, that's good. We've got our tap land. Caesar on turn two. Seems good. Just see if this is mono red now. But uh, at least that game demonstrated we can get our, our stuff out. Just doesn't do me that much good. <laughs> against some decks. Okay, yeah, blue. That makes sense. Uh, right, we're missing a land drop right now. Uh, we'll just... Tell you what, we do not need to do this now. We, we will have to just miss our land and lump it. Because we can do this at the end of his turn. Okay, he's going to curate. I will join exploration. That uh, has to go to the bottom. Do it properly. There we go. You've got to submit. There we go. Uh, I'm a fan of Curate. I started playing Curate in my uh, blue deck. So we can play a Loam Speaker and that will... Okay. I resolved a creature, so I guess um, he wasn't happy about that. Or I was taking too long, <laughs> as usual. Well, a win is a win.
Okay. Guess it will be turn three Topiary Stomper. Spell. Yep. Oh well. Never mind. Turn four, Topiary Stomper. Or maybe not. Well, let's get an island. There's only three in the deck. down. Just thinking, if he does, I'll only do Awaken the Woods if he sweeps both of these. Oh wow. Yeah, that gets a nice from me. Slow go the over slime. That's awesome. And he's got a land that's gonna go to the graveyard. Brilliant. So that's that's a four four now. So you can pump this if he discards a land from his hand. It can be a surprise five five. I don't know how he would do that, but I'm sure there are plenty of ways of doing that at instant speed. It might not be safe for the Topiary Stompers to attack. Oh, Azusa is too late. Put it to the bottom. Another world spell. Got eight mana. Now, if he's got another um, counter spell, we could be in trouble. I think, I think we'll go glorious sunrise. We can either go aggressive and try and win win with topiary stompers. We could uh, draw a card. Which is also quite good. Let's go aggressive. Let's um, go. F yeah. Okay. 
Okay, going down to five life. Oh, nice, all seeing Arbiter. So this can uh, discard cards such as land. I, I get it, this, this, this is the combo here. I guess the 5-5. Five, five. Okay, alright. Pretty nice. He does still have two mana up. So, yeah, he could make disappear. My world spell. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, well, that was his treasure, at least. I'm going to draw a card. Nice. Yep. Yep. And that's going to go back to the graveyard. Yeah, that is the combo. Slogok combo. He does have two mana on top, so he might have the third make disappear, I guess. It's a slow go discarded. Okay, we could get another land. Actually, do we want another? I think we do. So we uh, can play around his counter spell, or at least make him sacrifice something. Actually, five, six, seven. Actually, no, we can do that anyway, so we don't need either of those lands. Hey, Titan of Industry, that's nice. Um, so, what do we care more about? Um, and are we dead this turn? Because this does have trample. Well, I suppose we're trying to play around a counter spell here a little bit. This is an answer to his flyer, um, and it can gain me five life, so I think we, we ought to do this. I suppose with the world spell you can read ahead to step three. It is his third make disappear. Very impressive. I suppose I had three topiary stompers, <laughs> so. Uh, right. Next to combat. Can I make a land? 
give me three. Or uh, I could gain three life. Or draw a card. Let's play it safe. Let's gain a point of life or two. Let's play Lone Speaker. Another all seeing officer, okay. Can pump this guy up even more. So they both trigger off that discard. Yeah, nice. So it looks like probably 13 damage I'm taking this turn or something, unless I start chomp blocking and then I'm only stopping 4 damage. Comes a nine nine. Sure. So that is, f yeah, fourteen damage. Interesting. I did need those extra life points potentially. Um. Let's block like that. But that, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to take 10 damage in the air next turn. So maybe we don't have much. Uh, yeah. I think we just block with everything. We try and block as much damage as possible. That's probably the right course of action. He countered the first Loam Speaker, didn't he? Then World Spell, Titan of Industry. So that's a good bit of business for his deck. Uh, we're taking 10 in the air. He's still got two mana untapped, so... We could play around the fourth make disappear if he's managed to draw all four in the top half of the deck. Um, we don't have an answer yet to the 9-9. Nine, nine. Well, we're thinking three, four, five, six, seven. Make seven toughness of blockers. Could be good. World spell doesn't do anything, unfortunately. We should have cast it last turn. And if it resolved, we could have just read ahead to get the Titan out. Okie doke. Um, and this could just gain me three life. That seems reasonable. I will tap out. I'll go for seven. And if, he, if he's got the uh, make disappear, then fair play to him. on the nice. Oh, yeah, that resolves. Okay. Just gain three life and try and survive. Can attack with a behemoth as well. Okay, that destroys the sunrise. Sure. Go on, give me another land. Cool. 
Eagles. Yeah, that goes to the graveyard and uh, feeds Slogurk, which is nice. So that gets to 13-13, unfortunately. Chuck you in the way of the two damage. So I'm blocking ten from this guy. Taking twelve. So I think I get another turn. Adds two damage. So I think it's fourteen. We'll see. Yeah, down to one. Okay, well that's, uh, World Spell doesn't do anything really. Right, four, seven, ten. We just do this version, I think. Let's see if we can actually get something. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Five, six, seven, eight. We're actually one mana short, but we'll cast the world spell and see if we can play a couple of things. Actually resolve the world spell. That's good. Cool. I've uh, not run into Slogurk that um, very often. That might be the first game I've run into him. I had made my own Slogurk deck before, but I only had one copy. Thinking, what kind of board sweeper could I play? Oh, well, this doesn't look as good. Only two lands. Just have to try and draw land. Hey, we drew land. Good. Uh, I feel like playing Asusas. Okay, Adley.
so let's get this gets me to four mana, I suppose. We might draw a land. I'll be greedy and I'll block this one. But he might he might have a two damage burn spell. Oh devilish valet, nice. So that's something cool. So let's get to five mana. Get the next turn. Then we can play Glory of Sunrise. Uh, we could play this just to gain three life next turn. That's probably good. Rabble rousing, the devilish valet, nice. That's going to be horrendous. This gets 32 damage. Good game. So that was just the perfect rollout, really, from that deck, I, I would say. But I think, did he miss a two drop? He got the Adeline, then the Devilish Valet. I like. I'm enjoying the decks we're uh, up against. I think I'm in the jank queue. So it's giving us some kind of chance. My idea for a board sweeper, we play the uh, one mana death touch. And we play spinning wheel kick. It's a bit convoluted. It's a two card combo, needs lots of mana. Could be quite satisfying to pull that off. Okay. So, from the looks of things, we get to uh, four mana from this opening hand. find the all-important topiary stomper, so that should get us to 5 mana. Right. Toxic deck, you say. Swing in. Get that pressure down. How 
quickly here, and can he kill me with poison? He's not going for the green uh, version of the deck with the uh, the Rot Priest. So a bunch of spells now are going to proliferate me to 10. Gaining life, I'm predicting, is not going to do much good, so... Uh, cool, Glorious Sunrise as well. Alright. I'll draw a card. It's not land, but... Now, this can add 2 mana, effectively. So I've got 7 mana. I could world spell, read ahead to play Titan of Industry and Glorious Sunrise, which seems pretty good. Oh yeah, this this chap, I just saw this in Sealed. Pretty cool. Something is going to get blown up here. I'm hoping it's the Topiary Stomper. Otherwise I can't quite get to 7 mana. Uh, okay, so... Poison go should go up to 4 this turn then. this matter? No, I think we've got to play that as a land. I think we will go to Glorious Sunrise. Do that on the forest. We'll do no attacks. We'll do the world spell. Step three. Do a Titan of Industry and a Glorious Sunrise. Uh, get the Rhino and just check if, do a little check to see if either of these are in, uh, artifacts. And put a shield counter on something. And it can go on the Rhino. And end the turn. But he might have just done enough to get me here. He can get through with one poison counter. His spells basically pr proliferate for, for about 2 mana. So I could be on 7 poison at the end of this turn. On the other hand, if I top deck a land, this guy can attack. I can pump the team for plus 2, plus 2. So that would actually be lethal. And we think he's got a removal spell. We think he's going to kill Titan of Industry. And then get through. 
through. Okay, it's bounced. That, yeah, that does the job. So I can get through, get me to six poison. And then maybe seven for the spell. It's another glorious sunrise. So, same again. World spell, glorious sunrise. Could be on the cards here. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess so. So let's pump a land up. And let's draw a card as well. And we think he might just kill me next turn. Swing with this guy. We will world spell again. He might have a count spell here. I wonder if he's got one with proliferate. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. But at least it wasn't the Titan that got countered. I learnt my lesson from the previous game. So proliferate, yeah. You can there is a one mana proliferate spell. So I'm probably dead. Okay. Alright, Topri Stomper can get me to six lands. But I still can't really do enough damage. Um Okay. There's no way of Winning, but we may as well. Okay, let's pump that up. And draw a card. Nice, okay. May as well attack. Un unhelpfully, it's not an artifact. And... Okay, good game, I guess.
Right, I'm going to keep going with this with this deck. I think uh, if I switch, if I change anything, I'll, tr I'll just do a different video with this one. The Death Touch Spinning Wheel Kick thing uh, deck might be the next one. Oh, you're going to be like that, are you? Okay, well, we've got Lone Speaker. One point awake in the woods. Uh, or we could just be lucky and draw a land off the top. Let's keep it. I think we're going to be lucky. Yeah, we did. There you go. Let me draw another land. That's the that's the crucial thing. If you can get the fourth land on turn three, then it's it feels like the Asusa has not been uh, wasted. Joint exploration and draw a card seems good. Fable, yeah. Okay, let's joint exploration. Uh, we can sunrise next turn. We want to keep making land drops. Uh, we can awaken the woods next turn. Well, yeah, we're going to draw that, obviously. Uh, sunrise or Awake in the Woods? Uh, yeah, we have a power three creature, right? Yeah, so we can draw a card off this. Very good. Already basically at seven mana. Let's see if this guy's running sweepers. He's got so he's got Bankbuster. I feel like it's the reanimator deck. Um, I mean, he's going quite slow, so I could world spell step one, which we haven't have not done before. It's the most greedy option with world spell, but uh, let's see how it works out. Okay, uh, Topery Stomper seems fine. Let's draw a card. Okay, that's getting uh, exiled. It's going to cost me nine, okay. This is specifies casting a spell from your hand. So this is casted. Uh, casted. Cast this fr uh, from exile, unfortunately. Two damage to the dome. Okay. Right. 
Right, how greedy do we want to be? I think if we do the big awake in the woods, get six forests out. That unlocks a lot of things we can do next turn. So we'll give that a shot. But we'll keep drawing cards off this. Ah, oh, Jinka Taxis. Interesting, right. Expect a board sweeper. One damage to all my things would be uh, t sort of typical. Okay, this thing. Right. Prevent the damage and redirect it. So it's a lot of um, flyers at this point. But we can go double Glorious Sunrise and gain six life every turn. That's definitely a thing we can do. We've got quite a lot of mana. Three, six, seven, eight, nine got 15 mana so I think one with with the multiverse is good that is just good I think we can play this. I think we already played a land. I think we want a uh, Jin Gitaxius. I think we want a Glorious Sunrise as well. We don't quite have enough for the Type Dury Stomper. Just gain six life now because we're going to get battered. Oh, he can copy things with the reflection. Yeah, that's that's a little bit um, unpleasant. So that's 13 damage in the air. 18 damage in the air. That's kind of problematic for me to deal with. Okay. Block you. Take a casual 18 damage. Got the sweeper and we counter it. <laughs> oh well. Well, we have Titan of Industry off the top. In five life. Battlefield. This isn't anything. Oh, and that's an enchantment. Yes, kill the enchantment. Play the 
land off the top. Uh, the Azusa is great, actually. We'll play the Azusa off the top. And then play... Can we play this land off the top as well? Oh, that's great. And still lands. Okie doke. Um, let's go ahead and world spell. Uh, step one. Step one. Let's be greedy. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Topiary Stomper off the top. Yep. Oh, we missed out on the Titan, of course. Uh, never mind. We get a world spell on top. Uh, we can play another Topiary Stomper and lose the world spell. I think, yeah, that's fine. Need to gain lots of life here. It's a bit of an insurance policy to, so that we don't die. Uh, or let's get in for some damage. Got to do. If he wants to cast his sweeper, he needs to play something else first for me to counter with Jingataxius. And it would leave me with some rather useful things still in play. He need, really needs. Um, farewell. Yeah, can't block that. Can't really block that. So, because it's seven damage to any target. Right. Oh, another glorious sunrise. Don't mind if I do. Good game. Yeah, because I've got he sees I've got Hullbreaker Horror in my hand, so that is actually the answer to his flyer. That that was a satisfying game, so that's that's a good one to finish on. We're up to four wins. It took a while, but um This is not a, a sort of a precision deck designed to win as quickly as possible and answer every threat. There's practically got practically no interaction other than playing blockers. And we don't even have very many blockers. But that that's really an ideal uh, situation. Where, uh, yeah, we've got we can just stay alive with Glorious Sunrise. He's not, I mean, we've got the crucial Titan of Industry to take out his Fable, uh, which that was going to kill me uh, by copying the uh, the 5 5 flyer. Yeah, that was that was definitely quite fun. Anyway, I think that is a video, so uh, thanks for watching.